Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. In general, a high P.E. suggests that investors are expecting higher earnings growth in the future compared to companies with a lower P.E. A low P.E. can indicate either that a company may currently be undervalued or that the company is doing exceptionally well relative to its past trends. Make your mark, take our lead. Investors tend to prefer using forward P.E., though the current P.E. is high, too, right now at about 23 times earnings. There's no specific number that indicates expensiveness, but, typically, stocks with P.E. ratios of below 15 are considered cheap, while stocks above about 18 are thought of as expensive. Make your mark, take our lead. The average P.E. for the S&P 500 has historically ranged from 13 to 15. For example, a company with a current P.E. of 25, above the S&P average, trades at 25 times earnings. The high multiple indicates that investors expect higher growth from the company compared to the overall market. Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Generally speaking, a high P.E. ratio indicates that investors expect higher earnings. However, a stock with a high P.E. ratio is not necessarily a better investment than one with a lower P.E. ratio, as a high P.E. ratio can indicate that the stock is being overvalued. Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. A stock is considered overvalued when its current price isn't supported by its P.E. ratio or earnings projection. If a company's stock price is 50 times earnings, for example, it's likely overvalued compared to a company that's trading for 10 times earnings. Make your mark, take our lead. Price called Tesla's Model Y, one of the best cars in the world right now, and said it could sell over a million units, compared to its sale of half a million units last year. It's a great growth company, it's not just an overvalued auto company, Price added. Take our lead. If your stock's P.E. ratio is significantly higher than the majority of relevant competitors, it's a good sign that it may be overvalued. Conversely, if a stock has a lower P.E. ratio than most of its competitors, it may be undervalued and worth investing in after further research. Take our lead. 66.56x. About P.E. ratio TTM, Tesla has a trailing 12 months P.E. of 66.56x compared to the automotive, domestic industries P.E. of 29.52x. Price to earnings ratio or P.E. as price earnings. It is the most commonly used metric for determining a company's value relative to its earnings. Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. The higher the earnings per share of a company, the better is its profitability. While calculating the EPS, it is advisable to use the weighted ratio, as the number of shares outstanding can change over time. Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Earnings per share, or EPS, 
tells you how well a company is generating profit for its shareholders. When earnings per share is negative, it means the company is losing money. Raise your hand if you think losing money is a good thing. Still, there are times when a negative EPS isn't unexpected. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.